In this part, according to exterior one-point perspective that we've learned, we want to do a sample of a villa house. But it's going to be very simple. That it can give us a good result and we can remember and learn lots of stuff. First off, I'm drawing a cube in perspective. And I put my figure at the bottom of the page. So this is our figure and this is our horizontal line. So what we do? A little higher on the left side of my page because I want to show the left side of my page. And I start drawing my box. I will draw another one after this one. Send it to the vanishing point. This is our first part. With a little distance. I'm connecting diameter here. And these two box are of a similar length. Like this. Later on, if you want to add a staircase or anything else, it's a different story. We want to make an inclined roof, but how can we use one vanishing point to do that? Look, when you do the diameter, do the second diameter also, so we have the middle. So I have the middle of my surface. We go up here, connected to both corners. And this happened. Again, we do the same thing on the surface behind it. From the middle to middle, go up till you cut that one and connect it to the corners. And as you can see, this is an inclined roof without adding any extra vanishing point. We will do the same thing for the next part. Connect the top of it to vanishing point. Go up from the middle, connect it to the corners, and going horizontally like this. Pay attention. We have two buildings next to each other that happen like this with an inclined roof that went to the vanishing point. And we can add the details and work on our shapes. This is the basic of the topic. We can add it another part here also. And we will repeat the same thing on this side. So, on the next sketch, we can have a very good result from this technique. Again, connected to the vanishing point. Repetition of that line and repetition of this line vertically. And two buildings on the other side and one building on this side. That happened. Now, we move forward from this part a little bit. I want to go down with steps from here so we get to our figures fit. So we send it to horizontal line vertically and we do it like this. So I'm drawing the end of our stairs like this with a box. Send it to the vanishing point from the bottom of your stairs and whenever you cut it just connect it together send the top to vanishing point also now we go vertical and horizontal in line with our vanishing point maybe our stair floors are not super accurate but the thing that we do is partially okay and it's enough for our sketching even so on the stairs topic I will explain it lot more but usually when you want to do it you shouldn't spend too much time on it send it horizontal to this part and we have our parapet and here we connect them with horizontal line so we get our stairs and next to this area we can make it a little higher for example like this or do a slipper wall Or I can just add some stones underneath it. 
So here we can move it all inside, send it to vanishing point. And with the stones it can connect to the floor. And this cabin that we've built here, I can add some details to it. This is a very simple design. And as much as we go further, we learn to add more details into this type of design. Or even remove from them. Coming back horizontally from here. So with adding some trees, greenery, stones, we can enhance our result. So very easy with a couple of stones, some trees, out of some greenery, I can create the atmosphere in our project. And now we will add it, some details to our buildings and design the areas behind our buildings. So here, for example, create an offset here. So I'm determining my opening here. So this area goes inside and like this. We repeat the same process on this building also. So we did this for inclined surfaces. So even if our inclined surface was going up from the base of a building, it was the same story again. So if I wanted to design a line here, which was a rectangle, it was the same story. I will do this for you guys. So in the next step, we can see how it will happen. Let's add a detail here. So you can see this a simple work with a couple of details. How good it can be. So we separate this area and next to that part. I like to go inside. A little bit. Go to the vanishing point, come down. Go vertically, a little horizontal. Close that part. And turn this into a Windows profile. And you can see inside. We can even add details that are inside our building. Like cabinets and such. Let's add the details back there. So I will make it inclined downwards with a simple hatch. Like this. We repeat the same process on this surface also. Added some greenery next to your building. So it's sanding out a bit more. I don't want to spend too much time on this because we want to we want to design advanced version of this type of work. Here the goal was to get to know the details, how we can find a measurement. So in the next design that we are going to do, we can make it better. Underneath surfaces again. We add a little shadow. And we got the details behind our building. I will use the same pen in order to design my trees. As you can see, we get the general idea of what's happening here. Let's Render with color pen. I will design the form of my tree with this type of stuff. And as we saw for designing trees, we don't need to use complicated tools. We just need to cut out the main form of the tree and add a trunk for it. 
and add branches later on. As we do our colors next to the building, the building will stand out. I can add a reflection on my glass windows again to show what's happening to the tree and such because we need to show a reflection from the surrounding environment. Look, I'm creating form of my trees and we added the trunk later on. And as we added the forms next to our buildings, our shapes show themselves much better. A reflection inside our window. We added a little bushes down here. We can use another color to add sky. So we have sky also in our sketch. Look how beautiful it gets when we mix blue and red together. Next to this stuff I can use the same color for designing my trees and we do we are not limited by anything this is for the time that we don't need to do advanced rendering and we don't want to spend a lot of time on my volumes and we want to design something general without spending too much time on it and as you can see this is a very simple and fast sketch that with couple of simple stains we are adding detail to our trees and our environment and we are not spending too much time on it and because of that I'm not too sensitive to use marker or other tools but surely I will repeat the same thing with another tools later on we'll do better renders and advanced sketching so we can see different end results. The goal here was to understand shapes and volumes and to get a simple outcome from it. And in the next level we will get to the point to show better details and more precise details. So as you can see this is a very simple sketch and if you pay attention in spectator view my figures head are in the same line but if we add a figure on another height we need to send the head to our vanishing point well let's add some highlight underneath my surfaces so it can be seen better even on our windows and these simple hatchings that we had will completely change your work as we do highlight underneath our surfaces just adding a couple of black stains and some details and let's add some blank stains here. In some parts we can just do some blank dots like this. When we do it on our background it will separate the areas completely. And underneath our surfaces. And as you can see, just a couple of black stains that we add here will enhance our work a lot. So 
So we did our highlights. It's showing another area. Basically for me. So I will not spend too much time on this anymore. And in the future episode we will do this type of building in detail. And get result from it. And as you can see we did our trees with a couple of stains. Our sky with a couple of pencil movement. And we did a simple design. Now let's design the enhanced version of this.